especially as you get closer to kind of these uh, regions. Um, the coast is very rocky, so yeah, just an interesting thing to kind of mention with the Atlantic coast. Um, so yeah, I guess we can get into, um, well, let me finish uh, showing you the cities uh, real quick first, because as you'll see, Philadelphia is right here, and um, then if you go and kind of um, continue along the stretch of urbanization, you will get to New York City, um, and so, you know, you have Manhattan and uh, Queen, or Brooklyn over here, and then Queens is a little bit higher up. Um, and then, of course, you know, you have Long Island and everything. Um, but here, you know, when you're at Philadelphia, you still have the entire state of uh, New Jersey east of you. Um, so, you know, it's kind of interesting because as you go through that main, um, I guess, vein of cities, um, you'll reach New York, which is then, you know, right here by the water. Um, and yeah, and then you continue up into kind of Connecticut, um, and let's see, um, Hartford is up towards here, and then you have the kind of urbanization in, you know, Rhode Island and stuff as well, um, and so this is like the Providence area, and then finally you have Boston here, um, and the reason that they say that Boston is the end the other end, like the northern end of the megalopolis, is because north of that on the coast, you don't have uh, nearly as much of that. Um, sorry for the motorcycles going by. Um, but yeah, um, the coast is a lot uh, more rural as you go north of Boston. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of an interesting bit about the region. Um, but yeah, um, oh, and then I was going to move into uh, talking about the Appalachians as well. So as you can see here, um, in this sort of um, part of Pennsylvania, um, this kind of shreddy part of it <laughs> is um, the Ridge and Valley kind of region of the Appalachians. So I'll show you how that kind of connects um, as you go down. So the Appalachians are um, a lot of this kind of greener, darker spots that you see um, because um, they are higher altitude, so they have kind of a subalpine um, uh, climate and forest up here, which means there's a lot thicker forest and lots of pines, and you'll have kind of these little rainforest zones in the highest part of the Appalachians, which is actually called the Blue Ridge. And the Blue Ridge sort of kind of runs like this. Um, and now we're, we're down in like Georgia, by the way. We're all the way down here. Um, because I just wanted to show you kind of the end and um, where it trails off, because you can see Atlanta is right here. And the very Legends trails off um, into Alabama, and but anyways, um, when you get to um, the sort of like Tennessee and um, North Carolina border, I believe, which would be uh, roughly around here or so. is kind of like the border between the two states, um, and it kind of just keeps running up, um, and then trails off up into the northern Appalachians where it's less pronounced, and I believe the region, or the reason that it's called the Blue Ridge is because of that kind of subalpine, um, uh, forest zone where there's a lot more, um, thick foliage, and then kind of the, um, mistiness of it just makes it have like a bluer, kind of cooler tone. Um, and, but then outside of that, in the rest of the Appalachians, um, a lot of those 
those mountains have been completely eaten away by, you know, erosion and everything, um, which, you know, began a, a long time ago with glacial erosion, and then as the glaciers melted, it became more dominant with water and rain um, erosion. Um, so that's why the Appalachians are all softened up today, because they are an old mountain range from when Pangea was forming. So, ever since the breakup of Pangea, they've had all this time to smooth on out. But anyways, that's just kind of like some uh, general information about the Appalachians. But what's immediately west of the Blue Ridge is what is called the Ridgen Valley that I was mentioning earlier. And it's called that because you have all of these series of mountain ridges. And I'm sorry that this is not loading well. <laughs> um, it looks weird, but um, you can still kind of see these lighter parts are the valleys, and the darker parts are the ridges. And it is very interesting to kind of look at um, and see, because this extends west of the Blue Ridge all the way up into Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is kind of this part where it kind of curves. And um, you can still see if we zoom in, you still have the ridges and the valleys. And it looks just so weird, it just does not look like, you know, something on Earth <laughs> um, when you really take a look at it. But um, yeah, the ridge and valley also sort of trails off once you hit the New York region. And the Appalachians are less defined, they kind of break up into um, some smaller ranges in this portion. You know, you have the Adirondacks. Um, upper New York, way far away from New York City down here. And you also have um, other mountains in Vermont and New Hampshire and Maine. Um, and, you know, there's actually an even older mountain range in uh, Quebec up north as well called the Laurentian Mountains. And those are from a process way So maybe like 10, 20 years from now, that's something I'll be doing, but I can't imagine when I'd ever have time for that. But I guess if I was really committing, um, I could abandon all my positions in my job and just like live in the wild on the Appalachian Trail. But anyways, <laughs> I'm really drilling off here, so I'm sorry about that. Let me get back up to what we're, uh, <laughs> what's on topic today. So. Um, yeah, so in Pennsylvania, as I said, you have the Ridge and Valley, and then, um, let's see, uh, I think they have, like, one more name of, like, another 
selling me Appalachian, so I have to think. Blue Ridge, Ridge and Valley, and oh, I don't remember. We learned about it when I took, um, we had like a year of social studies that was dedicated to just Georgia when I was living there in eighth grade, and um, we learned about all the names of like the Appalachian regions, and there were three, but I just can't I think it was called like Appalachian something. I don't remember. Um, it's not really important though. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, um, Pennsylvania even stretches out to a little portion of Lake Erie, and its neighbor to the left is Ohio, um, which has, you know, Cleveland up here. I don't even know what that sound is. Must be like a plane. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I turned my game like way down, so hopefully that is better for the moment. Um, but yeah, sorry. What I was saying is that Cleveland is up here. And then we have, I believe, okay, I think that's Columbus, Ohio. And then so that would make sense because Pittsburgh is the western end of Pennsylvania. Um, and then, yeah, you got Ohio over here. Um, and then I think Cincinnati is somewhere around this kind of area. Um, and um, let's see. Because the Ohio River goes so. Super rectangular 
states in contrast that look a lot more like Pennsylvania. Um, you know, like Colorado and uh, Kansas and Nebraska and the Dakotas. They're all just like big rectangles. <laughs> just like 